What I really want to see is how it compares to Predator whiskey. The only thing I can tell is, you know, the inside, the rough out is obvious. You can see in the video, it's very orange, which is freaking cool. I wish you could get a rough out Predator orange or actually the smooth over rough out. Like I think uh, Lucas Grassberger posted about on Reddit months ago. They're saying they don't like know the longevity of it, but I told them I would, I would order it and not worry about warranty. Like if it fails, I, I won't make them repair it because I want it, but you know, I guess they don't want to do that. I would love a two-tone with the rough out bottom, smooth top, Predator orange, that'd be sick. But anyway, I think the Predator whiskey, it's more of like a brown on the inside. But on the outside, it almost, I don't know, it almost looks the same. Got a couple stickers. Funny enough, I actually have never gotten one of these before, well, at least to own. I think the, the I bought a ready-to-ship packer over the, I guess, late summer, early fall. And I think one of these was in there, but I ended up boxing them right back up and sending them back because I immediately knew the, third, the 5332 last. I got them in an 11 D. The That last was just a really narrow toe, even at 11 and a half length. And the the packer heel just felt crazy tall like the arch felt felt extreme even compared to my other nicks so i was like i just stood in them for like five ten minutes walked around a little bit on, on my rug and i was like this isn't gonna work i'm gonna send them back and just get my money back and i'm out 25 bucks shipping it's totally worth it to just know finally that i can't i wish i would have wanted to know that i could do the la the 5332 because it looks cool but i just you know Packers look awesome, but I can't pull it off. So anyway, super dope. Really happy with these, super comfortable. As all my other ones, they fit great. Heel. This is what gets interesting. So I was telling you earlier, if you look at pictures, and I'll you know, I have the one from the original listing of the built right. Uh, you can actually see it if you count the little, you know, maybe I'll have to put like a crop in on the heel but it has only five layers, which is the classic stack. They buy these pre-built is what I understand. This has six layers. So if you count them, there's, let me get this close to the camera, sorry. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then look at this bottom one. This looks the same as the midsole. So they are cutting a piece of midsole and then putting it below the, the classic five layer stack. Almost like, the, I think the Packer is a six layer, but it's a pre-built or pre-bought. They're compensating now. They weren't doing that before. So I was hoping this was going to be a classic stack on the half sole, which is missing kind of this much thickness in the heel. So it would actually be lower than a classic. I ended up just getting like a full-on normal classic. Surprisingly, it feels really great. So maybe uh, I think I might get a classic stack in my next build, you know, not a half sole, and then really verify it. Those Builder Pros are also a classic, but kind of a different vibe with the lug and everything. But I like them, but I, you, know, you can feel it. These, for some reason, don't feel quite as high. I don't know why. They are. And they kind of look even more crazy high because it's all leather. Looks awesome, but it also feel like kind of is getting on the edge of looking weird. Uh, it just It's a massive heel, but yeah, I like it. I feel like I thought it would look ridiculous, but I don't know. I, maybe I'm changing. I don't, I'm not going to hate on moderate stacks. I still love them. You know, this just looks, this looks great, but it's a different vibe. But anyway, what I wanted to show, let me get those stickers out of the way. And oh, by the way, it comes with obviously, I, this will never touch my Predator orange leather. I don't know if I'll even ever condition them because this is a durable leather. And I like all the color weirdness, so I think I'm just gonna. I've already brushed them once after I wore them yesterday. I think I'll just brush them uh, and just see how it goes. I've never conditioned my uh, uh, natural Dublin Nicks, so here's something interesting to do: is actually look at the height differences. So right here, that's the classic versus the the moderate there. And you can see it's kind of like a midsole and one of the thin layers difference. And I think that's because this V-bar is pretty thick. The V-bar, I believe, is the thickest of the rubber soles. 
I think it's thicker than the 430 Mini lug. And obviously it's like twice as thick as the back of a 269 Western, which those are intentionally thin at the back. So that's kind of interesting. And then the one that it's actually almost identical to is, and this is not a really apples to apples here, but this is a moderate, but on, this is a moderate heel stack, but a, you know, it's a honey, but it's a lug and it's literally almost identical. I would say there's, it's hard with the camera, it might not be the right angle, but there's less than one layer of leather of a heel stack difference between these heights. And I would, I would say the V-bar obviously up front is gonna be thicker than this. So this is probably gonna have a slightly more backward angle, which I know Nick's is why they don't really like the moderate and they kind of tell you to go classic. I like that, I, I think it actually feels good, but I also like this too, so it's kind of weird. Uh, I guess both of them work. I just was hoping this was going to be the the Goldilocks, I'll say, in between if it didn't have that compensation because it would sort of be taller than a moderate but not as tall as a normal classic. So that's really the one that's closest and then I can show you classic to classic but again, not apples to apples because this is a, a V100 again, in this case black on my Builder Pro 67. And obviously, being a V-bar, it's taller because the rubber there is thicker than a quabog. But it's not a huge amount taller. I'm guessing maybe this compensation is thicker. You know, the V100s, if you look at them, actually are really thin in the back. But with all the V100s, honey or uh, the... I don't know, the, the black one is just black or whatever. Or maybe the black one's the V100 and the honey lug is a different number, I don't remember. But all the lug uh, Vibrams, they have to put that slip sole. There's something about that rubber is like not tacky to the leather, I guess, versus V-bar half sole and 430 mini lug. That rubber, I guess, is tacky to leather, so they just stick that one straight onto the midsole. They always put slip soles on the lug soles. So I don't know if it's the compound, I assume. But again, that one's gonna be thicker up front. So you could argue this, even this classic on a lug is gonna be more front, front up than this one will be. Just kind of interesting observations. Oh, this is a hard one to count, but this is my only other classic stack. But with the brown finish, it's gonna be harder to count them. But if you look, let me try to do this in the light for you guys. There are only five layers here. So one, two, three, four, five. A classic stack is a single piece, it's five layers. Again, just pull this guy back to the camera. You'll see six. There's this thick one here. One goes to here. Two, three, four, five, six. So this is not, this is a classic plus like a midsole layer. And I kind of wanted a, uh, Kind of want something in between. Yeah, I think that's about it. The only other thing I could talk about maybe is toes. So let's do that. This is what kind of led me to end up getting a soft toe on this Predator Orange pair. It's rounder, kind of, I guess it flattens out obviously a little more, so it kind of squishes. And I don't know, it just looks cool. It doesn't look like a 55 because it's still a 67. It has a different, more you know, boxy shape, which I like, and it's more comfortable is really what it is for me. This doesn't seem to push on the big toe as much. <clears throat> this doesn't push on the big toe as much, but it, I would say, probably pushes the little toe a little bit. I'm more sensitive with my big toe being pressed in because I kind of have... I guess some type of toe splay or something. But same thing here. Kind of a rounder, rounded off look versus, I'll do the shinier leather so you can really see it better than the rough out, but the Celastic, I mean, it's, it's more like the 310 in that way, the Viber 310 last, where it's really bulbous and I love it. It looks dope as hell. Looks hella like tough, like, like a biker boot or I don't know what, but like a thing of Arnie and Terminator 2 with those uh, Wesco Nomads or whatever. 
which is a different, totally different toe, honestly. But I really like that look. But this is cool and it's different. A little bit lower key. Probably a little bit more comfortable. You can feel this elastic a little bit sometimes, but yeah, that's kind of where I ended up. Otherwise, you know, most of the same stuff. And then I guess I didn't mention it, but it was part of the build. So it's not like I had selected it like that per se, but I will admit one of the many changes I had done, I had uh, swapped to eight inch because I really like those uh, dome pros, the English bridle over there. English Bridal Tan. I didn't realize when you go to an eight inch, you can't do a single piece backstay. I guess I thought they made a eight inch single piece backstay. I don't know why they can't, because it would just be this piece, just a little bit taller up here. Kind of scratch my head about that one. Maybe they just simply don't have the template, but I think they should have an eight inch single piece backstay option personally. I have come to realize this is my favorite setup, you know? Overall, it just looks really cool. You have, it keeps a big heel counter, and it just, I don't know. I don't know what I, maybe I'm just kind of jaded because I like the whole Prospector vibe, but I really like the single piece. And it's the same as, obviously, this is my only other pair with it, but I was kind of sold on it when I bought this pair. Uh, I, I do actually have a second Prospector that you guys have seen, the black pair I got off eBay used, but the single piece backstay just looks awesome. So yeah, I'm uh, going to continue wearing them. I'll probably throw update uh, picture in the community once in a while on these. And then you'll, I'm sure, see them in uh, those shorts I post, kind of walking the dog and walking around and stuff. But yeah, really happy with these. The wait was worth it. I know it was extended. I should have probably mentioned that earlier. But, you know, they should have come maybe, I think, uh, seven months-ish after ordering. But Horween, I guess their shipment, you know, material delay was why it ended up going to nine months. But it was worth it. Don't regret it. Love the Predator Orange. Uh, love the Half Sole. Probably going to end up seeing myself get another Half Sole, the V-Bar one, obviously. But I'm also now kind of toying with the idea of uh, another 269, but with a classic stack just to kind of feel out the taller heels a little more. I don't know, we'll see. But the Shackleton is really what I'm waiting on. I know Shyler just mentioned it in one of the Nick's podcast videos. I think the one posted yesterday or, you know, right around the weekend of the Super Bowl. I was, I was watching it this Sunday, and uh, I'm, I'd seen the Reddit post before. But that Shackleton looks amazing. Anyway, guys, cheers. Hopefully uh, you got a boot order in, in queue or you're uh, getting yours in the mail or whatever and enjoying this hobby like me. Later.